Hello everyone, Marcel here, and um, unless you've been on another planet lately, you're probably aware of the fact that we are living through a pandemic at the moment, COVID-19, the uh, COV, uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, novel coronavirus, whatever it is you want to call it, and of course we're all obsessively checking out the stats, like right now as I take a look, the United States is sitting at 216,000 cases. Anyway. Because of that, we're all doing this social distancing thing and we're trying to keep away from each other, six feet between all of us, you know, or two meters, two, you know, it's in metric, you actually get a little bit more space between each other. But here's the thing, we need to get together, we need to do things, we're social creatures, we want to be together, that sort of thing. And uh, right now, educators, for instance, are trying to figure out how the heck it is they're going to teach kids in this environment. Now, there's Zoom, of course, and um, for instance, my wife is uh, working from home, like almost everybody is working from home at the moment, and she's using Zoom to communicate with the people in her office. However, uh, for teaching groups of people, um, there might be other ways that you want to consider, and I'm going to suggest that that other way is virtual reality. Now, there are lots of different social VR platforms, but today I'm going to show you Mozilla Hubs, and the reason I want to show you Mozilla Hubs is because you can actually enter into a 3D world or 3D universe on Mozilla Hubs. But here's the cool thing. You don't need a VR headset, okay? If you do have a VR headset like an Oculus Go or an Oculus Quest or a Vive or whatever it is that you happen to have at your disposal, fantastic! Because then you're going to get that immersive feeling where everything is all around you and you can turn and you can move around and chat with people and so forth. But there is another way and that other way is through Mozilla Hubs. And uh, let me show you how that works. Now, all you have to do is go to HTTPS hubs.mozilla.com like you see up here, and you're going to see something that says create a room. Now, I have already logged in to my Mozilla account. In other words, I created a Mozilla account. By the way, you don't have to create one, but if you do register your, pa not your password, but if you do register your email address, then you can actually save the worlds that you create and you visit. And that's something that might be useful. Now, obviously you can bookmark them, but this lets you save anything that you personally create. And we'll talk about creation in a minute. The first thing I'm gonna show you is like, I've, I've saved or I've favorited, you know, with the star here, a number of different places. And uh, let's go to, um, actually I won't go to Dr. Sinister's lair right away because that's one I created from scratch. But uh, let's go to this Disney show comparison over here. And the reason I want to do that, um, actually, I'm going to lie. I'm going to go to Marcel's COVID-19 hideaway for starters, okay? And the reason I want to do that, the reason I want to do that is I want to show you that you can go to really neat, cool places. And then we'll get into the whole educational aspect of things in just a minute, okay? So let me just enter this room. And uh, I'm letting my microphone be muted. And I'm going to say enter now. And uh, here we are in the COVID-19 hideaway. And uh, you use your, you use the keys on the keyboard, like the WASD. Every gamer kid knows about WASD, but you can also use the arrow keys if that's more comfortable for you. And uh, you use your mouse to rotate the image. So you right click and you, or sorry, uh, left click and you rotate the image around. And then, you know, you can look up, you can look down, and then using your arrow keys or those WASD, you can wander around the scene and check things out. And obviously this one is a nice little hideaway, a nice little town on the edge of the, on the, edge of the water. And, um, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And you can uh, teleport. See, I'm teleporting by using the uh, right mouse button at the moment. See that little circle that appears there? Uh, teleportation and um, and you can even fly let me show you fly fly is the G key on a keyboard now again if you're using a virtual reality headset things are different but on a keyboard like I'm using right now this is just a web browser by the way now I'm using Mozilla Firefox but you can use any web browser like any modern web browser is gonna work whether it's Google Chrome or again Mozilla Firefox or Microsoft Edge all this stuff is gonna work so if I hit the G key See, it says fly mode enabled, fly mode enabled, <laughs> fly mode enabled. And here's the cool thing. Now, if I use my W keys and so forth, I'm actually flying up. Isn't that cool? So I'm actually flying through the town. This is really cool and great stuff. Now, here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to back out of here. So I'm actually going to leave this particular scene right now. And uh, I'm going to go back to my Mozilla Hubs thing here. And I want to show you this Disney show comparison because this is something that was put together by an educator 
to show the possibilities. Like you create these things externally and then you can have your people go into them. And by the way, I'm going to go into this one in VR in just a few minutes here so that you can see what the difference is. And uh, let's wait for that world to load up. World to load up. Ta -dum -ta -dum. It's loading all the elements that make up the world. So let's give it a moment. All right, Disney Show comparison. And I'm gonna say now enter room. And uh, obviously I'm keeping my microphone muted and here you go. So now we've got this exhibit compares the intros of two Disney channels. So what they've done is they've created uh, like, you know, things for the, for uh, your students to read and to check out and so forth. And then of course we can move into the scene like I'm doing here, meet the cast of the various characters. And here's the cool thing. So you've got like, you know, boards uh, that they can use. And there's even a little living room set up here where you can actually watch the intro to the show. Good See, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? And this is, I mean, this is something that somebody, you know, put together so that they could, you know, they could obviously demonstrate this, but for their, their class to learn. So let's go over to the other side for That's So Raven which is a non-animated version. And again, they talk about the show over here and there's some pictures from the show. And here's another living room that's been put together. And of course, you know, the kids uh, can just gather around the screen and uh, watch the show. And you can have multiple people. That's so Raven. I'm not gonna let that play, but I wanted to show you how that is doable. So there you go. So that's a way that you can, uh, that you can use this as a teaching experience. And of course, what you can do is you get a link now, if I say share up here, I will get a link, a short link, or if you just go to Mozilla Hubs and you enter the code, all you have to do is give this code 079968, okay? So let's go back to Mozilla Hubs just for, whoops, let's go back to Mozilla Hubs just for a second here. Okay, now here we are in virtual reality, and this is the Firefox browser, and I'm looking around a little bit here. There we go, up and down, all over the place. There we go. All right, and there is the Disney Show Comparison uh, Lobby Room using the Mozilla Browser. Now this is what it looks like inside virtual reality. So let's enter the room. And let's say next we would allow the microphone, just in case you know there was somebody there that I wanted to talk to. Oh, there we go. Talk, 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 it's working. And let's enter right now. Okay, this exhibition, blah, 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 the proud family, that's so raven. So this is what it looks like in here right now. And uh, as I've shown before, there's, there's my hands. As I've shown before, I can actually fly in this place. And, uh, but we right now, we'll just go out. Okay, so let's go down this way. This is the meet the cast. So somebody has basically created a classroom environment where you can take a look at these two different things. Uh, they've put stuff on the wall here, you know, for the kids to look at. And then they've made this little living room where we can watch the theme from the Proud family, which, which of course, I've never seen before, so I have to take for granted that this is actually the case. And uh, let's go over to That's So Raven. And again, here in virtual reality, we can look around, we can go up and down, we can do all sorts of interesting things. There's Meet the Cast, starring Raven, Massey, and uh, and I haven't seen the show, so there you go. In standard Disney intro fashion, uh, some things about the show, and uh, let's go into this living room, which is actually quite a bit different than the other one. There it is, and over here, we can also play the intro theme from That's So Raven. There you go. So, and uh, as I mentioned, uh, as you can do with these things, um, we can fly if we want to. So let me turn fly mode on and show you what this thing looks like from above. Whoops, I'm showing you from the other side, but let's go, let's go out this way. I'll turn around and uh, that's what it is. So that's what they did. They created this whole environment, uh, this whole 3D environment, which of course I have stepped out of. Uh, and um, that's what it is. Isn't that cool? And this was done in Sketchfab. And that's my T calling me. So I'm going to go take care of that and jump back in on the PC. And before, um, before I wrap this up, I want to show you how you can create a room. Okay. Now, obviously, if you're creating elements like a blackboard and stuff like that, what you need to know is you can actually import things like a, like a whiteboard or you can share your screen. You can do all sorts of really cool things in here. And I'll show you how to do that in a, in a later video. But for the moment, 
just by default, we've created a new world. And it the default world that it creates is this one here, Excited Tricky Social. Um, now, that's just the name that it gives it. You can go up here and you can say uh, Room Settings and then you can give it a new name. So, um, so let's call this one uh, My Demo World. There you go. And then you can decide what the maximum number of people you want to allow into it, whether you can create move objects, uh, whether you can have, you can pin things, create cameras, take selfies. You can actually take selfies in here, create drawings, emojis, you name it. And here's the fun one at the bottom. Do you want to allow the people who come to visit the opportunity to fly in this world? If you say no, you want them to move around on the ground, well, you would, you would check that off. Okay, so uh, let's click Apply. If you're hearing shouting in the background, it's because I'm working from home too. <laughs> so there you go, my demo world. And here's the other thing. So now we've got this this island here, which is kind of cool. But I can say choose a scene. And there are a whole bunch of these things that have been pre-created for you. So let's say that I wanted to, I don't know, do an art gallery setup or you know the Parthenon in Greece here or something like that or we can even have a game like you know the maze challenge here but let's do the round table room just for fun so we changed the round table room we give it a second for it to reload all the graphical elements of that particular world remember we're actually creating this thing on the fly and then I can say cool this is great this is what I want so I'm gonna say enter room mute my microphone by default because that is actually what I want and now I can move into the room so again I can turn this around and what's interesting about this one is this one is actually like a big tower room in other words there is no door that you get out of this one this is this is just meant to be a place where you interact and so forth and and you can do stuff like that like you it doesn't, you know, not everything has to be a big open world in which you move around. It could just be something like this one here. Uh, let me, uh, and again, we can change these things on the fly. So if you're playing with this, if you're creating worlds, you can actually do this on the fly. So let's just say choose a scene. And again, we can, we'll just take the top one here just for fun. Uh, Hello WebXR Main Hall. That sounds interesting. Excuse me while I take a sip of my tea. <sighs> And there you go, we have ourselves yet another world that we can interact in and we can move around in. And again, this one is actually ideally suited for a presentation because you could just put like things up on the wall here. Um, we, we could draw on the wall. Um, H E L L <laughs> I'm doing this with my mouse on the fly here. I'm not going to be very good. Hello. There we go. I just wrote on the wall. <laughs> and now I can go back and we've got writing on the wall. Um, I can also post pictures on the wall and that sort of thing. And by the way, this is actually, this is something that we could do. I can go in here with the uh, create thing and I can say, oh, I'm going to go into Google Poly and I'm going to do art and, um, oh, I, the wall painting, uh, small gallery, uh, encounter well, let's do this weird wall painting thing here and it's going to import that into the scene and um, then I can press and hold spacebar and I can move this thing around I can put it in different places and um, you know now we've got um, now I believe that on this one I've actually got it backwards at the moment as in uh, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. let's rotate it there we go. <laughs> I'm trying to rotate it. By the way, this takes a little bit getting used to, and typically I do this in VR, but there you go. We put a picture up on the wall, I back away from it, and um, and if I want this thing to stay, as in if I want this to be, you know, a room that somebody visits, um, I can I can pin it at this point using this. And now, whoops, I just, I just threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong button. <laughs> anyway, you can pin it up on the wall and it will stay there. There we go. And I'm going to put it up on the wall so that it's there. And then I'm going to, whoops. And by the way, if you right click on it, you can actually look at it. But um, I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to see a pin. And now that way it's stuck up there and uh, it won't get accidentally deleted when I leave the world and come back. So there you go. 
that is how you create a world and again you could you could have a, a, a YouTube video up on the wall you could share your screen in fact I can do stuff like here where I can say share my screen like for instance let me just fire up a game of uh, patience patience uh, well I read a lot of strange things but anyway so let's go uh, Klondike and uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, this is to show you how quickly and easily this can be done. Select window or screen. I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to go Klondike, and I'm going to say Allow. And now if I go back into my world here, there you go. I have got, I have got this game that I can play on the outside, which will get reflected inside. So if I go to Klondike here, and I turn the cards over. See how I've got the nine of clubs there? See how I've turned the card over and I've got the nine of clubs there? And uh, see, well, let me, so there's the, uh, there's the queen of diamonds. If I go back into my world here, you can see that indeed, indeed, whoops, indeed you can see my game on the go. So I could have something that's going on my desktop, whatever it happens to be. And there you have it. And of course I could do this, like I said, with, um, I'm obviously moving this around at the moment. But uh, I could do this with any, um, anything on my screen. So if I wanted to share something to show to a class or whatever, yeah. this is how you would do that. All right. All right. Um, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, but uh, I'd love to be able to show you more. But that's just an example of how you can use Mozilla Hubs. And remember, you can do this with any browser, like any modern browser. You can do it with a tablet, a cell phone. It is that easy, and I highly recommend that you check this one out. So, if you like what I'm doing here, make sure that you uh, subscribe, share, uh, please, by all means, if there's somebody that you think could take advantage of this, please share it with them. Uh, leave comments, tell me if you're using some kind of VR uh, collaboration app or, or social app or whatever, so they can all hang out together in VR. And, um, and uh, let's get this conversation going because I think that going forward, this thing is probably going to last for months, the way that things are going right now. And um, I think that social VR and VR environments, um, it's their time. It's time to take advantage of the resources and the tools that exist. And uh, Mozilla Hubs, I think, is a great place to start. Talk to you later. Bye.